Monsters University, adapted by Tenet Redbank, illustrated by Matt Cruikshank, designed by Stuart Smith. Mike was small, and green, and round. Some monsters would say he wasn't very scary. But Mike had plans, big plans. Someday he was going to be the greatest scarer the world had ever seen. And the first step, learning how to scare at Monsters University. Mike was a serious student. He liked studying. He liked his classes. In fact, he liked everything about school, except Sully. Sully was another student in Mike's scaring class. Mike and Sully just didn't get along. Mike thought Sully was lazy. Sully thought Mike was too little and cute to be scary. Mike couldn't wait to prove Sully wrong. Mike worked hard. Sully played. Mike studied. Sully went to parties. Mike got A's. Sully got C's, but it didn't matter. During a big test, Mike and Sully got into a fight. Both monsters failed. Sully and Mike were kicked out of scaring class. How would they become great scarers now? Mike wasn't ready to give up his dream. He saw a poster for the scare games. Winning the scare games would prove he was scary. Then the university would have to let him back into scaring class. There was one catch. To compete in the games, Mike had to join one of the school's teams. The Roar Omega Roars didn't think Mike was scary enough to be a member of their team, but the Uzma Kappas liked him. With Mike, the Uzma Kappas had five monsters. They needed six to be in the games. Did anyone else want to join? Sully did. He wanted to get back into scaring class too. But how could the Uzma Kappas ever win the scare games? They were the least scary monsters on campus. There was Art, Terry and Terry, Don and Squishy. Only Sully looked like a real scarer. Big, hairy, scary. Soon the scare games began. The first event was held underground in the school sewer. Sully and Mike both wanted to win. They were trying so hard to beat each other that they left the rest of the OKs behind. Their team came in last. But another team was kicked out for cheating. The Uzma Kappas were still in the running. For the second event, the monsters needed to sneak past the librarian to get their flag. While Mike and Sully argued about the best way to win, the other Uzma Kappas worked together. Don, Terry, Terry, and Art distracted the librarian while Squishy grabbed the flag. After that, Mike realized that if they worked as a team, they'd have a better chance of winning. But Sully didn't believe the Uzma Kappas could ever be scary enough to win the scare games. So Mike took them on a field trip to Monsters, Inc. The greatest scarers in the world worked there, and they looked nothing alike. Sully realized there wasn't just one way to be scary. The Uzma Kappas were coming together as a team, and their hard work paid off. One by one, the other teams were getting eliminated from the scare games and the Uzma Kappas were doing better than ever. In the hide-and-sneak event, Sully pretended to be a rug. Mike nearly vanished into the background. But the star was Don. He stuck himself flat against the ceiling. Finally, only two teams were left, the Roarers and the OKs. The last event? Scaring! The night before, Mike and Sully practiced and practiced. Still, Sully was worried. Was Mike scary enough? Sully wasn't taking any chances. He changed the settings in the scare room to make it easier for Mike. Mike was thrilled to get a huge scream in the event. Then he found out that Sully had cheated. Mike was mad. After all this time, Sully still didn't believe in him. Mike decided to show everyone how scary he was. He'd scare a real child. He snuck through a forbidden door and into the human world. He found himself in a room of campers. Mike tried out his best scare. Roar! But the kids just smiled. Sully was sorry for cheating, and he was worried about Mike. Humans were dangerous. So Sully followed him. 
but they both got trapped in the human world. Only one thing could get them out, an enormous scream. It would make enough energy to open the door back to Monsters University. Together, Mike and Sully came up with a plan that would scare the pants off the camp rangers. Using scream energy from the scare, they found their way back to the monster world. Mike and Sully hadn't liked each other when they first met, but now they were friends, and they made a powerful team. They knew that whatever happened next, they'd be okay, as long as they stuck together.